So yeah, this is um, dude, this is our big action sequence. So we got Dent in transit. Um, he's in the back of a SWAT truck, and then uh, the score before this scene really sets in. We uh, the score I noticed is pretty faint before it's non-existent, and I noticed that that's exactly what happens in Heat prior to the opening heist scene. That also, funny enough, involves a big 18-wheeler. Um, yeah. And it's just like that. It's this real. faint score that just kind of like goes to nothing. And then it's all about yeah. the sound design because from this point forward in this in this sequence, the sound design is fucking key, just like in Heat. Um, <laughs> I love my notes. Look, kids, it's Nicky Cat. Fucking Nicky Cat from Days to Confuse is one of the uh the, the cops. He's the passenger in the uh the, the, the wagon that's that's uh got dent in the back. Um do you know who Nicky Cat is? Are you familiar with Nicky Cat whatsoever? No, not really. I mean, uh, obviously I've seen Days to Confuse, but the name's not right now. Yeah, he's the right dude now. all right, so he's the guy that picks a fight with uh Adam um Adam Goldberg's character. He's like, Yeah, so what? So I'm smoking a little reefer. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm a pothead. I'm a fucking pot. I'm a, what the hell is it? It's like, um, so yeah, I'm smoking, I'm smoking some reefer with my friends. You got, you got a problem with that, chief? So why don't you say something? Not ringing a bell. <laughs> and and at, at the moon Not tower really. scene, and he's like, okay, well, I did, a, did two things. I came here to drink beer and kick ass. Looks like we're almost out of beer. Yeah, so uh, his fucking name in the movie is uh Clint. No, still nothing. Anyway, so that's William Cat from uh like I said, Days of Confused. He was also in the film Phantoms. He was in Boiler Room. If 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 you've ever seen Boiler Room, chances are that's probably what you know him from is Boiler Room. Um he had a minor role in Insomnia. That's that Christopher Nolan connection. So anyway, look him up kids. Nikki Cat K A T T. Uh now I can picture him. Yeah, now I know who you're talking about. When you said boiler room, it came back to me. Now, uh, now I remember who you're talking. Hey, right, so yeah, he's he's the cop in the passenger seat of the SWAT car here in this film. So the th- uh, <laughs> I just put that some quotes. Um, so the shoots the the, the Joker is like sh- shooting a machine gun at him, and he's like, well, first they. First, they had to get diverted to like the lower level road because like there is a fire truck yeah, on fire. Yeah, the, they're, they're, they're down the in the underpass for the sequence. And even then, even though that like when you look at the roads, they're empty and like there's this fire truck. But like I was like, just drive on the other side of the fucking road. There ain't nobody there. Yeah, anyway. lone, I don't know, empty was- streets, and they just see one fucking little fire uh, fire department truck, and they get all spooked and they go down to the underpass area. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. And the Joker is in the truck, and he's fucking firing the gun, and it's doing nothing, obviously, because it's you know bulletproof. And uh, Dent asked the cop in there. He's like, "This thing's built for this, right?" He's like, "Yeah, he's gonna do something much bigger than that to get through this." Enter a fucking rocket launcher, <laughs> and I think that does the trick. Because <laughs> the next thing, he, after he says that line, it, it cuts to the Joker, and he just fucking lifts up this rocket launcher like okay well this scene needs business um yeah and the bat uh, the 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 tumbler like it's blasted away and all of a sudden like the bat cycle comes out of it um and then the the whole thing where he fires the the wire and does a little figure eight underneath of it, turns it around, like gets the, the wires all caught, then like all of a sudden just flips that goddamn thing. The whole goddamn the truck. Whole semi, yeah. And it's it is glorious. Is just crazy. All it's done glorious practically. And, it's all practical. So they actually like used explosives and a piston and flipped the truck. It uh, looks gorgeous. So it's, all- it's, it's, a, it's a it's a beautiful slow-mo shot. Uh Props to Willie, Wally Fister for capturing this. It's a great shot. 
Um, and then there's yeah. this, if what follows that is just an equally awesome shot of just the Joker in the empty streets of Chicago, kind of like fighting himself to get up with the fucking Tommy gun. And he's kind of like just shooting aimlessly. Uh, the, the, the one it was, uh, an accident. It, it, it went off by accident, but, uh, no one kept it in cause it worked when he first gets up and it kind of like briefly shoots for a little bit while it's pointing to the ground. That was total accident but like I said no one kept it in um and then the whole thing with like Batman like circling around him you know, come on get me and he's, yeah cause Joker knew he wasn't gonna kill 